Hey everybody, welcome to this video. The subject of today is how to count files in a directory with Python. Counting files in an efficient way is important, especially when you have many thousands of files. I selected some methods that use some Python building modules, and in order to be more efficient, we will tend to use intervals instead of lists. We'll refer the example to a simple file structure as shown in the figure. The target directory is dir, and I am now in the Windows system, so the root root to dir is this. Dir contains a directory subdir and uh, three files, and subdir contains only one uh, file. Now, we set the root to dir in a variable dir path. Dir path. See. Root. Before continuing, let's look at the method we are going to use. This 5 looks better here. As you see, the OS module is often used because it allows us to use many features of the operating system. The first is a non-recursive method, so it will count only these three files. So, First, we import OS and OS path. Num is the number of file and begin with zero. As you see in this line, we use for to iterate over the list returned by listdir. But listdir return the net only names and its file need the entire root. To resolve this, we can use OS path join to concatenate the root according with the operating system you are using. So element path is the entire root OS path join um, the path and other argument is element. And to select only the files, we used an if if um, os path is file element path, and each time this is true, num is increment by one. Finally, print num. And that's all. I have an error here. Okay. And now I can run this. The result is 3. We can put this in a shorter form with the sum function and list comprehension. So print and inside print sum and inside sum between bracket 1, 4 element in os path the same then if this file on path and I copy this expression and paste as the argument and that's all. We can run this selection. The result, as you see, is 3. Each time the condition is fulfilled, a 1 is appended in the list. And then zoom add all the 1s. But as we said in this selection, there is no need to create list. And if we delete the bracket, some can understand the syntax. And the code can run more efficient. So we delete the bracket. And we can run the code. As you see, the result is 3 again. Let's go to the second method. This is a non recursive method as well. Here we use two OS functions, and here and file. And this, this file is different to this, this file. 
from another module. A candy returns an iterator of objects that represent each element contained in the These objects have information like the path and other attributes. And with this information, its file will tell us if an element is a file. Let's see some examples. It is not necessary to import again the OS module. We can use the functions directly. So, num is number of files. Then the idea is to use for loop to iterate over the objects. For element in OS scandir dir path. And if element is a file, num is increment by one. Element is file. And that's all. We have to print num. We run the program and the result is three. We make a short form in the same way as in method one. Print and inside print sum and inside sum um, one. Then and the if expression. All of this have to be inside brain and that's all. We can run this program and the result is three expected. We will see it later, but, but I anticipate that this method is very efficient. Let's go to the first method, the best in my opinion. This can be recursive and non-recursive and use the function walk. This function can walk a directory tree from top to bottom or vice versa. And for each branch it returns a tuple that contains three tuples inside. In this case, this is the first branch. And this is the first tuple that corresponds to the first branch. This parent tuple contains three child tuples inside. The first contains the name of the base directory, dir. The second contains the names of all the directors inside dir, in this case only sub dir. And the third contains the names of the files inside dir, file 1, 2 and 3. This is the first object generated by, by walk. The second corresponds to this branch and the tuple will be this, where sub dir is the base directory of the of the branch and inside Sadir there is there isn't another directory and there is only one uh, file. If you want to recursively count all the files you have to add the elements of all the first child tuples. Let's see an example num is the number of files then I use four to connect to each sample generated by walk for the in also walk. The argument is the same, dear path. And we set top down through. And noon will accumulate the number of elements of all the third child tubes. I put two in the two because this is the index zero, one, and the third child tuple is two. Then print none and that's all here I have an error and now we can run the program and the result is 4 as we expected 
because we are counting the files recursively. On the other hand, if we don't want to count recursively, we only have to apply len to the first object generated by walk. So, this is recursive. Non recursive. First, we save the objects in tree. So, to access the top branch, we use NAC tree. That is to say, I save the first parent tuple in top branch. Then we print top branch with index 2. And that's all. Here we spec 3 as a result. And if we run the code, the result is 3. We can make a more compact form. So print and inside print len and inside len next next tree with index two and if you run it the result is three again and that's all for the third method let's go to the fourth method that can be recursive and non-recursive here we use iglove from glove and its file from ospap as in method 1. So we have to import glove. Earlier in this session we have already imported ospap and it is necessary to do it again here. Glove is specific for finding files and directories whose name match a pattern such as those ending in pdf for example. The glob function returns an, iter an iterator with all the match. In this case, we want to count all the files and to match absolutely everything, we put an asterisk at the end of the path. So, the path with an asterisk. This is necessary to match all the files inside here. But um, it is not recursive. So for in love, I love dear part, and we set recursive false. And then first set num zero, and now we use is file to count only the files. If our path is file num one and then print num we run the program we spec t3 as a result but it is two as explained in glove documentation a glove will not match files whose name start with the dot and we have we have a file that is starting with a dot. This is a little of big problem with this method. And we can make a compact form of print sun one and four if um, paste here and that's all. We can run this program and the result is 2. And how we can count recursively? To do this, we have to copy this and here it's true. And the most important, we have to put double asterisk here in the root. So if we run this, the result is 3 because the program count uh, this file, this file and this file 
but as the glove documentation warns using double asterisk is very very slow so this method is good to match patterns but had some limitation and could be very slow and now let's go to the last method that can be recursive and non-recursive as well here we make a basic use of the path leaf module specifically we use iterdir glove and file function from the path class we can say that iterdir is similar to this function and glove has some similarity with this function so let's go to the example from path leaf import path, the path class. In this example we use iter dir to return the element inside dir and with this file we select only the files. So num zero for element in path class but need dear path as argument and then iterdir and if element is file then num is increment by one then print And here I forget to mm, this dir path, but without the asterisk. And here we have another error. And now we can run the program, and the result is three. We can do it in a shorter form print zoom one four if element is five and that's all we can run this program and the result is the same and in this other example, we use glob instead of iterdir. And this glob function needs an asterisk to count all the files. We can run this program, and the result is free, the same. Sorry, we are counting in a non recursive form in these examples and now we're going to count recursively and to do this we only have to change the argument of glove with slash double asterisk slash an asterisk we we'll run the program and the result is 4 as we expected. And that's all for today. Just need to add some conclusion according to some tests I did. In my time test without recursion, for a sample of about 300 files, the results were similar with method 1, 4, and 5. But method 2 and 3 were about 10 times faster and with recursion counting about 10,000 files method 3 was about 6 times faster than 4 and 5 and for these reasons method 2 and especially method 3 seem to be the most recommended by 